Hey, how you guys doing? Jamie here with another quick review. This one is going to be on the new Vanguard VO 263AB tripod. Now, my previous favorite tripod from Vanguard was the Alta Pro 2 Plus. That's actually the tripod that's holding the camera recording this video right now. But Vanguard has listened to feedback from photographers around the world and made some adaptations to the, to the Alta Pro 2 Plus line and transferred those over into the new VO3 line and most notably those are improvements on the ergonomics of the, the tension knobs for the ball head and also the articulating center column and we'll go over those here momentarily but first I just want to take a minute and capture a couple of quick shots while I'm out here so just sit tight so let's start off talking about those ergonomic improvements that I mentioned earlier so Vanguard shifted away from using the traditional knob style tension releases on the tripod, the ball head specifically, and shifted over to this lever type style. I uh, really appreciate the contouring on the lever style as your fingers just fall naturally into the contours of this lever. A lot easier to release. It gives you a larger surface area to work with. So if you're like me and you venture out in cold weather and you're wearing gloves, it's easier to get a handle on things on your tripod to simply reach for the toggle and twist it to loosen or tighten up the tension whether it's on the rotation of the ball head or it's the articulation of the ball head all these tension knobs again are this machined aluminum they've got a beautiful satin finish to them but most importantly the ergonomics of them are spectacular there's nothing worse than tension knobs and the reason I don't like tension knobs is because most times the tension knobs tend to have some sort of a rubber ring around them to offer grip. While over time that rubber ring tends to dry rot and wear out or in some cases under extreme heat conditions like sometimes we have here in Michigan in the summer, the rubber ring that is used tends to soften and loosen and stretch out and then it just spins on the knob. Now Vanguard did retain one knob on this ball head and it's a little bit different than what you're used to what I was referring to a second ago with the rubber ring around that tension knob instead this is one solid piece of machined aluminum with very deep knurling on it easy to get a grip on uh, especially if you're wearing gloves I've tested this out in my home I got out my winter gear because unfortunately summer's coming to an end at some point soon and the winter weather will be here and I'll be wearing gloves when I'm out shooting in snowy conditions so I got my gloves out and just kind of tested to see how easy it was to maneuver this knob and it's a piece of cake to get good grip on it with both my snowboarding gloves and some thinner gloves that you might use for just out driving in your car or whatever so again the only knob of mention on this is on the Arca Swiss plate that lock and you really couldn't have one of these lever styles that we have down here on the ball head in this location because it would interfere with your camera but the one that they've put on here is probably the biggest diameter knob I've worked with on a tripod without interfering with the camera body at all. So I have no problem getting my fingers in here to tighten it up to get my camera secure on the Arca Swiss plate. It's definitely a welcome addition to the tripod lineup. Again, in addition to the new machined toggles, I just call them toggles. I don't know if Vanguard has another name for them. Uh, but that's just what they look like to me is a toggle mechanism that you would tighten or loosen to maneuver the tripod around and to again articulate the ball head great feature great addition to the tripod lineup glad to see this change made we'll go over a couple other things as well because all of the magic isn't just in the knobs and levers on the ball head as I'm sure you know so let's just uh, let me jump back to taking a couple of more pictures the clouds have changed a little bit and then we'll start talking about the legs and the locking mechanisms on those and especially this articulating center column which I think is a big draw for most people that end up with a Vanguard tripod. I'll be right back. Alright so let's move on to that articulating center column. Uh, first I'm going to take my bag off the hook that's on the bottom of the center column. 
Uh, this is something I'll be talking about at another point before too long. This is the new VO Range line of bags. This is the Range T. Wow, I don't even remember what size this one is. It's the 48, the Range T 48. Uh, I've got a couple of the Range T bags just kind of getting mixed up on which ones are which size. So this is the 48, one of the bigger bags. We'll be talking about that soon, but first, let's just focus on this tripod. Okay, so let's start talking about how we articulate this center column. Now you may have noticed earlier, I had a bag hanging from the bottom of the center column, and that's done with this accessory that mounts into the bottom of the center column that has a spring-loaded hook to attach your bag strap to, or another weight to help stabilize the tripod. I actually used it last night to keep my bag off the ground while I was out shooting thunderstorms on Lake Michigan shoreline. We had waves washing up over our feet, wanted to keep my bag off the ground, Great way to keep the tripod steady in the heavy wind and keep my bag off the ground. So this attached to the bottom of the center column and I took it off. And now the next step to get the, our, the center column articulating is we work with this toggle switch right here. You'll notice that we've got the metal latch right here, but you see this orange, it's a safety lock basically. You push forward on that safety lock and then pull back on the latch. This frees up the center column to be able to articulate. You also need to loosen up this toggle so that you can extend the center column up out of the legs. So I've already loosened it and now I can articulate the center column to how I want. I can choose the angle that I want and then once you flip the latch back forward it's now secured and locked in place. Again push the lock forward, pull the latch to release it and now I can extend the center column out how I want. And again, you have free access to rotate the ball head how you want as well to set up a shot. So for instance, if you were shooting macro, you might want to be out horizontal, lock the ball head in place. Let me get it level. There we go. So get her level how you want it. Loosen up the ball head. Rotate it into position how you would like relock your ball head in place and lock in the rotation of the ball head and now you're on a stable platform once you've secured this final toggle right here which keeps the center column from rotating in this neck so now you're set up for all sorts of interesting things with this whether it be macro shooting if you want to get down close to your subject like let's say if you're shooting near water you could lower the legs splay them out further and get your camera right down to the water's edge for some low perspective shooting. I'm kind of fond of actually setting the camera up this way and then doing sweeping slow panoramic shots when I'm shooting video. This isn't a fluid head, at least not that I'm aware of, but the movement in it is very smooth, almost like a fluid head would be. So very smooth, stutter free, sweeping panoramic video shots are definitely very possible this way. Again, I'm a big fan of the articulating center column. If you follow me on Instagram or on Flickr or Facebook or wherever on social media, you'll see a decent amount of shots of mine taken where the perspective is really low. And if those shots were taken in the last two or three years, they were likely done on the Alta Pro 2 Plus. And if it's an image that's been shot probably in the last two months or so, it was shot on the new VO3 Plus. Again, I can't speak more highly enough of having this articulating center column not just for photos but as i showed you you could also use it for very cool sweeping uh, cinematic looking effects when you're shooting video as well so let me just get myself positioned back up drop the ball head back down lock it in place and we're all set super simple to use very ergonomic easy to get to and we can move on from there to start talking about the locking mechanisms on the legs because those two have also changed from previous lineup of tripods. So now let's talk about the locking mechanisms on the legs of the new VO3 Plus 263AB. Now the locking mechanisms have changed quite a bit from the previous generation of tripods whereas the Alta Pro line of tripods had locking mechanisms that you gripped with two fingers and slid down on the sides of the leg, they've made that a lot easier to work with. Again, if you're wearing gloves 
or maybe your hands aren't as strong as they used to be to try to squeeze and pull down, Vanguard has incorporated this rather large pusher button. And you can see that the pusher button actually controls the locking mechanism on the leg. And if I push it in, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it over there or not, but pushing in on that pusher actually releases the lock from the leg. So if you want to extend the legs further out, like I mentioned earlier, to splay them out to get low, you push the button in and it's easy to get to. It's either with your thumb, the meaty part of your hand right where your thumb is at, and just pull the leg out. As soon as you let go of the pusher, the locking mechanism re-engages in the next uh, step up in the, uh, the angle adjustment of the legs and it's locked into place. It's as easy as that. And if you go back into a steeper angle with the legs, as soon as you start pulling in, that lock pops up. When it gets down to the next step, it re-engages and locks itself in place. Uh, you're never gonna have legs mysteriously splay out and drop your tripod. Not with a locking mechanism like this. It's very robust and very, uh, it engages well into the legs. So it's a very sturdy, and safe mechanism. Now to collapse the legs on the new VO3 Plus line, it's just like it was in the Alta line as well. It's a quarter turn on the locking mechanism and then you slide the leg up, maybe about a half a turn. So about a half a turn to break it loose, push it in, half a turn back to lock it. It's not even a complete full rotation on these. Again, about half a turn, slide it up, half a turn slide it up easy to use anybody can use this tripod hey how's it going i know it's kind of a crazy departure from where we were doing this review earlier out in the field and now here we are at my house so the reason for that is during the review process i kept getting uh, notifications on my phone from a few other photographers who were tracking a storm throughout the day and we'd been in communication, just keeping an eye on it to see if it would make it our way. And sure enough, we were getting towards the evening hours and the storm was approaching Michigan. So I packed up, stopped the review process, mid-review, and threw my gear back in the truck and took off to the west side of the state. About a two hour drive to the shores of Lake Michigan, packing the VO3, of course, with me, and sat out there for about four hours shooting the sunset and the storm as it came across Lake Michigan. The tripod, as expected, performed flawlessly out there. A very stable platform to keep my camera on in the, the storm as it approached. You know, we had winds that hit about 40 mile an hour as the storm made shore. And no blurry photos whatsoever. Uh, rock stable, rock steady and solid with this tripod. So I really don't have much more to add. Uh, as always, these reviews are just you know, how I feel about a product, you know, and my experience with it. It's not a technical review. Uh, if you want technical, you visit the Vanguard website and they'll give you all the specs about how much weight this will hold, uh, how much the tripod weighs, things like that. Uh, if you do have technical questions, though, I will answer them in the comments. So feel free to leave your questions down there. And uh, before I go, I just want to take a second to mention the Mirrorless Minutes podcast. It's a podcast I've been doing for about six years now. And we do it every other Wednesday night live on YouTube at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's also broadcast live on our Facebook page at the same time as well. So look us up on Facebook, Mirrorless Minutes. Uh, and if you're just an audio podcast listener, we're on every single platform out there. Just look for Mirrorless Minutes and uh, give us a subscribe. We'd love a review after listening to a couple episodes as well. Again, thanks for watching the review. And I've got a new review coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, two new bags from Vanguard. They're part of the, the VO line as well. They're the Range T bags. They're backpacks. I've got two of them on hand. I've got the smaller 37 and the larger 48. Uh, so far, loving the bags. They're incredible. Just like everything else Vanguard makes. I'm so excited to be an ambassador for them. Uh, I wouldn't want to represent and put my name uh, in affiliation with a company whose products I didn't believe in. So that's kind of why my reviews are the way they are. I'm just reviewing things I believe in and that I respect and, and appreciate the build quality of. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you tune into the Mirrorless Minutes podcast and I'll see you on the next review. Take care.